recently someone came to my website and they asked me if I could uh, help them because they came across this false teaching that says that um, the new birth doesn't happen until after death. Okay, that we're not actually born again in this life that actually takes place, you know, after we're already dead or whatever. So I didn't really know what to say at that point. I've came across this teaching too. There's this Fred R. Coulter guy who I get material from in the mail. It's, uh, I don't know, his uh, website's like Church at Home or something, but he's got a bunch of false teachings. And uh, so I never really heard this until then, which was actually a couple of weeks ago. So I was surprised when I heard this. And I just recently did a search to try to find something, and I found a little bit on that. Uh, this website doesn't use the King James, but we can look at the verses in the King James, and they still hold up. But uh, let's see here. It says uh, here, someone asked the same question, when does the new birth take place? According to uh, the teaching of a heresy, I have heard the new birth of a Christian doesn't take place on this earth. They say that we are only conceived here, but we will be born again only in the kingdom of heaven. Let's see what the scripture says in this regard. Okay, so first, the new birth is the condition to enter the kingdom of heaven. So you must be born again to enter into the kingdom of heaven. So it would have to happen before a person dies in this life. And we can see that from John 3, verses 1 through 5. So we can go to John 3, verses 1 through 5. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews, the same came to Jesus by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from God, and no man can do these miracles that thou doest, except God be with him. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. So you must be born again first before you can see the kingdom of God. Okay. And so Nicodemus saith unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter? The second time into his mother's womb and be born, Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto you, I say unto thee, except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. So, you know, unless you're born again, you can't see the kingdom of God, you can't enter into the kingdom of God. It must happen before, uh, you know, the death takes place. At that point, it, it's too late, right? Um, so, uh, this says, if the new birth is a condition to enter into the kingdom of heaven, it must take place before, that is now, when we are still alive on this earth, and beware, the Bible does not say that our spiritual conceiving is a condition to enter into the kingdom of heaven, but our new birth, okay? Um, so, it, so they try to say that we're just being conceived in this life, and then, you know, we're born after this life, but no, we are born before we must be born again before we die to enter the kingdom of heaven, okay? So, and the second thing is the verb tense. Another important and strong argument is that often when it speaks about the new birth, the, the tense of the verb is the past. Okay, consider these following verses. 1 John 3, 9. And, uh, let's see, 1 John 3, 9. It says, Whosoever is born of God doth not commit sin, for his seed remaineth in him, and he cannot sin, because he is born of God. Okay. Now we're talking about, you know, looking at the fruits of people's lives now, you know, in the present. Um, but the born is the past tense. Okay. Whosoever is born of God already uh, doth not commit sin, for his seed remaineth in him, and he cannot sin, because he is born of God. Okay, that's a past tense. And uh, so that's 1 John 3, 9, then 1 John 4, 7. 1 John 4, 7, Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God, and everyone that loveth is born of God, and, and knoweth God. Okay, so everyone that loveth is born of God. Already has happened, past tense. If they have these characteristics, we can we can tell you know they have been born of God. So and so, First John five one through four is another one. Uh, 
Okay, let's we'll gonna say it a few times. First John five, one through four. Whosoever believeth that Jesus is the Christ is born of God. And everyone that loveth him that beget loveth him also that is begotten of him. By this we know that we love the children of God when we love God and keep his commandments, for this is the love of God that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not grievous for whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world, and this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. Okay, so basically first John has all these verses that, that are good proof to say that when a person, when, when the Bible speaking of being born again, it takes place in this lifetime. You know, at the moment, someone puts faith in Jesus Christ and they repent towards God. And yeah, again, 1 John 5, 18 and 19. 1 John 5, 18 and 19 says, uh, We know that whosoever is born of God sinneth not, but he that is begotten of God keepeth himself, and that wicked one toucheth him not. And we know that we are of God, and the whole world lieth in wickedness. Okay, and so these are kind of tests to uh, you know to 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 look at somebody to see you know how they line up to these things. So they must already be born of God when it's talking about this. Now, you know, we know that whosoever is born of God sinneth not. Okay, um. So they don't continue to live in a sinful lifestyle like they did previously before they were saved. And uh, that's about it. And, uh, you know, then it talks about the Greek, which we're not really concerned about, right? So, but this should be enough. You know, the passage in John that talks about being born again and, and all these passages in First John. So John was really good about that, I guess, talking about the new birth. And so we know that it does take place in this life, you know, when a person exercises faith towards God, you know. So hope you learned something. Hope that helps you. Hope that the person that asked me that sees this video. So God bless. Except ye be converted and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven.